In this video, we're going to cover installation of Docker, and it's a pretty simple process, but if you're using Linux, there's a couple things you need to know about, and that is to not use, well, most likely you're not gonna wanna use the package manager, at least the default package that comes with it. So, uh, and then also with Docker Compose, you wanna make sure you have an up-to-date version and install it in a certain way. But with uh, Linux and Windows, with Linux, Windows and Mac, it's pretty self-explanatory. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. And uh, yeah, so you go to the Docker store. And this video is gonna be pretty basic. Uh, it's gonna be meant for beginners, so it may be too basic for you, so you may wanna skip it, but uh, basically just follow the directions. Uh, you'll, you'll wanna also check that you have uh, the Docker, you want to have an idea of what the Docker Compose and Docker release versions are. So you can do Docker Compose release. And then I'm currently at 1.17.1. .1. That's around the version that I'm going to want for Docker Compose. And then Docker release, you can check that. And it looks like 17.09 ish is what you'll want or what I will want. By checking that so uh, anyway so for docker for mac and docker for windows you'll just want to click those installation buttons and those will install everything you need the entire bundle and then with linux you want to choose your distribution obviously um and if if you're if you don't see yours then you'll want to see figure out which parent distribution so like xubuntu and stuff like that those are all built off of ubuntu so uh, you would choose Ubuntu or whichever is your parent distro and then you'll go and click and basically just follow these directions and they're pretty simple but again this is for someone who may need help so uh, basically you can just remove if you don't have if you if you've already tried to install it and then run the command app get update and then run this command and then update again and basically just follow the directions add the key run these commands check that you have the key and then most of you are going to be using AMD 64 if you aren't using AMD 64 you'll probably know but it would be a good idea to research this and make sure so I'll let you figure out how to do that but you're probably using AMD 64. And then install, uh, again, update, and then sudo apt install docker ce, that will give you the latest version. And you probably, you don't need to do the production system steps or install a specific version because you, if you follow this one, you'll install the latest version. And then, and then once you have that all installed, you'll want to do Docker Compose. And so there's a specific way to install Docker Compose. And if you go to the Docker Compose install page, it'll give you this, uh, this page here. And you'll click on the Linux, and you'll wanna run this sudo curl command. And this is going to make sure that you, uh, but you wanna replace this 1.17.0 with the 1.7 or one or with the current version so if you look on this docker compose page of the release you'll want to replace this number with the most recent version that you get but they should probably they'll probably do a good job of keeping it at least somewhat up to date and then make sure the docker compose is an executable file and then once you have all that then you want to open up a terminal and run sudo docker compose version. You may not need sudo, and you may need to add it to your group or add your user to the Docker group. Okay, so I've got 1.16.1, that's close enough. And then docker version. And make sure you have a recent version of Docker and then you can run docker run hello world. Oops, and I need to start docker. All 
Okay, and so I know that it works, and that's it, and you're good to go.